America was built really on the on the blood and sweat and the back of black Americans in this country, on enslaved Africans in this country. And because of that, it's extremely important that the black history is told on a consistent and regular basis. And then the fact and the truth is told from enslavement to Jim Crow time to today and the struggles and the fights that the black American um, um, society has gone through and continue to go through. Now, the theme of Black History Month 2022 is Black Health and Wellness. Why do you think this theme was chosen? Historically, um, uh, Black Americans, uh, if you know any any part of the history, they, they, they started off receiving sort of the leftovers from the masters. And over generations, it's become part of the culture within the African-American and the Black, and Black American culture. And so the, the, um, the ways of eating has not been the best and the most healthy. And because of that, and in addition to the stresses of being Black in this country and the health disparities that I hear that are baked into the system in this country and the racism and anti-Blackness that's baked into the system, Black American health has not been the best. That conversation should be had, and we must address the disparities that are present in the United States when it comes to Black health and um, 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 access to health within the Black community. Now, as an African immigrant and as an attorney, what do you see as the biggest obstacle to the advancement of a Black people in the United States? Access, access to voting, access to um, um, education, access to health resources, access to economic development, it's access. And it's always been the fight. It's always been the fight as um, for, for black people in this country. It's been the fight um, from the civil rights and before to now. Many, many of many of our people in this community, in our community, do not have proper information, whether it's educating their children or navigating the U.S. system and making sure that they are able to access all the benefits that they have a right to access. And not everybody has that information. What are some of the professions where you see more inclusion of mm -hmm. black people in America? The health industry in this country, you see so many black people, black immigrants, there are a lot of them. They are the frontline workers. They are the nurses, the LPNs, the CNAs, the RNs. Um, many are the ones who were there at the forefront of this pandemic. The discussion of frontline workers, they're not the face. But when it comes to the, um, the homes, the retirement homes for our elderly, they're the ones that were there. And we know how much the infection um, took hold of our nursing homes. And it was these women, these men who were there at the forefront. 